Let's divide decimals. So we're going to take 37.2 and we're going to divide it by 2. We're going to divide it like a regular number. We just kind of ignore this for now. We've got a 1 here, 2, 1, 7, 8 times 2 is 16, 1, 2, 6. And now we're done dividing and we say, okay, there's one decimal point, so we take our final answer and move it over one decimal point, and we get 18.6. That's the idea. You ignore the decimal, and then you use it at the very end to figure out how much to move the decimal in your final answer. 18.6. So let's just pretend we're dividing 89.8 or without this thing, by 2. We'll get a 4. That's a 4. And then this will be a 9. That'll go in completely, right? 18, and then we'll get 0. So then we say, oh, we've got one decimal point to the right, so we'll move it over 1 to the right and we'll get 44.9. Okay, how about this? Well, we'll take 97.8, we'll divide it by 3, we'll get 3 there, 9, it'll be 0, 7, we we'll bring the 7 down, we get 2, get a 6 there, 18, give us a 6 here, 18, we're done with the division. And then we say, oh, one decimal place, one decimal place, 32.6. Okay, we do 75.4, I'll just go ahead and save some time, put the 2 here. So we get a 3 there, 6, 15, 7, 14, 14, that's another 7, 14, and we're done. Okay. So then we say, oh, we have one decimal place for, to the, from the right, so we do one decimal place we get 37.7. Okay, how about this? Ooh, interesting. So here we're gonna divide by two, and we're gonna end up with one, two, 15, 7, 14, and then we have one left over, right? So what we could do, right, this is where we want to add our point zero, okay? And we'll put this 10 down, and we'll get this 5 here. But since we added that point zero, I guess you could have just started it off with 35.0. You just go ahead and you take that, and you move it over, and you get 17.5. So that's what you do if you want to, you know, continue, but you don't have any where to go to the right. So 17.5. You just add a zero. You add a point zero. Okay, how about this? 49.6 divided by 4. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a 4 here. We've got a 1, a little 4 there, a little 9, 2, 8, 16, 4, 16, and 0. Great. And so we have a one, two, four, 
We have a one decimal place, so we move it over one. We get a 12.4. Seems good. How about this? 34.2 divided by three. Take a little three here. One, three, four, put a one there, put a three there, get a 12 here, get a four there, 12, zero, we're done. And we've got one decimal place, so we move this over one decimal place, we get 11.4. How about this? Divide by two. So we have a three here. Gives us a six. Gives us a 19. Gives us a nine. Gives us an 18 here. That gives us a one and a six, which gives us this eight, and then we're done. So we get 16 and zero. And we have one decimal place. So we move over one decimal place and we get 39.8. 63.4 divided by two gives us a three times two is six. Zero, three, there's a one. That'll be a one, four. That'll give us a seven and then we'll get zero at the end. So that will give us one decimal place, one decimal place, and we get 31.7. It's fun when you get the hang of it, right? Put a three here, put a two here, you put a six here. When D6, the 8 goes in 24, 2, 1, 7, 2, 1, 0. And then you've got one decimal place here. Move it over. One decimal place there. So you have 28.7. Awesome, guys. Hope you had some fun dividing decimals. Practice makes perfect, as always. And I will see you next time.